Have you ever wondered what happens in your Strapi app when you send a HTTP request? Let me show you the Strapi HTTP request chain cycle in just 60 seconds. First, your request hits the Strapi server, which is built on CoreJS. It passes through the global middlewares. In the world of Strapi, think of this as a reception team. This can secure log or even end the request earlier if needed. If not, the request moves on to a router. Think of this as a traffic indicator or a friendly guide. Before going further, your request passes through policies. Policies can validate or block access. So think of them like the police. Next, the controller will handle the request logic. Think of them as managers. They can fetch data, validate input, and then call services. And then the services does the heavy lifting. Think of them as the laborers. They interact with your content model or your content structure using the document service or the query engine. And after that, they generate a response which travels back through the routes and the global middlewares again for final touches such as sanitization, formatting, or logging. And finally, they travel back to you as a clean JSON. To learn more, visit the documentation page at docs.strapi.io.